And forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. And in my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Wednesday, June the 25th. It's the second week after Pentecost at week six in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 121 to 144. And Numbers chapter 16, verse 36 to 50. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I have done what is right and just. Lead me not to my oppressors. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Alleluia, I have done what is right and just. Lead me not to my oppressors. Vouch for my welfare, let not the proud oppress me. My eyes fail watching for your salvation, and for the word of your righteousness. Deal with your servant according to your mercy, and teach me your statutes. I am your servant, give me understanding, that I may know your testimonies. It is time for you, O God, to work, for they have made void your law. I love your commandments more than gold, yes, more than fine gold. I know all your precepts to be right, and I hate every false way. Your decrees are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The arrival of your word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant, for I long for your commandments. Look on me and be merciful to me, as you do to those that love your name. Order my steps in your word, and do not let any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from oppression, and I will keep your precepts. Make your face to shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. Rivers of tears run down my face, because they do not keep your law. Righteous are you, O God, and upright are your judgments. Your decrees that you command are righteous and faithful. My zeal has consumed me, because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is pure, and therefore your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold of me, your, yet your commandments are my delight. The righteousness of your decrees are everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. Glory to you, source of all being eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I have done what is right and just. Leave me not to my oppressors. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Numbers, chapter 16, beginning at verse 36. And then the Most High spoke to Moses, saying, Tell Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, to take the censor out of the plays and scatter the fire far and wide. For the censors of these sinners have become holy at the cost of their lives. Make them into hammered plates as a covering for the altar, for they presented them before the Most High, and they became holy. Thus they shall be assigned to the Israelites, and so Eleazar the priest took the bronze censers that had been presented by those who were burned, and they were hammered out as a covering for the altar. 
a reminder to the Israelites that no outsider who is not of the descendants of Aaron shall approach to offer incense before the Most High, so as not to become like Korah and his company, just as the Most High had said to him through Moses. On the next day, however, the whole congregation of the Israelites rebelled against Moses and against Aaron, saying, You have killed the people of the Most High. And when the congregation had assembled against them, Moses and Aaron turned toward the tent of meeting. The cloud had covered it, and the glory of the Most High appeared. And then Moses and Aaron came to the front of the tent of meeting. And the Most High spoke to Moses, saying, Get away from this congregation so that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell on their faces. Moses said to Aaron, Take your censer, put fire on it from the altar, and lay incense on it, and carry it quickly to the congregation, and make atonement for them. For wrath has gone out from the Most High. The plague has begun. And so Aaron took it as Moses had ordered, and ran into the middle of the assembly, where the plague had already begun among the people. He put on the incense, and he made atonement for the people. He stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stopped. Those who died by the plague were 14,700, besides those who died in the affair of Korah. And when the plague was stopped, Aaron returned to Moses at the entrance of the tent of the meeting. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For the sick, especially Carol, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially Lloyd, Walter Arthur, Father Tom, and Abby, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the Mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, that God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Guide us in the paths of righteousness and justice, O God, and grant us your wisdom, that we may know your way and follow in your truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.